Hi guys, this is Wins from Below the Radar Above the System and this video is specifically about INFJ and art, what art means um, and uh, what kind of, what actually is all could also be part of art that we very often don't see as art um, and why it's so beneficial for us. So, um, as you know, we do have a lot of intensity um, within us that we kind of like need to let out very often and we don't find the right outlet. Um, I read somewhere it had like, it compared art for different personality types and I read something that kind of resonated with me very much and I liked it a lot because it said that INFJs kind of like, um, they use art just for the process. Yeah, like we don't make art for an overall end result. We use art to kind of like have something where we can put our intensity in, something that kind of like, um, we create something beautiful, you know, we, or or energetic. Sometimes we can even create something that is, um, you know, hostile or aggressive. But because we put it in art, and it's not something um, which is up for debate. Like I talked about in the last video, we have to understand: is what are we gonna do that is really not up for debate? We don't. We want people to accept this, but we don't with this part, but they don't have to necessarily like us for it. But we have to understand that this is a part of us that we kind of need. Um, this is, art is a way of how you live your life. Art is a way how you express yourself. Like it can be, um, you know, I do it, I let out my emotions through music, through um, how I, you know, how I make my home, what I like, whatever it is, but there's, and, and I let people know. That's the thing, I let people know this is, it you don't have to like it like you can go away but this is what I need in order to feel my best once I have like I do for me so I overflow Oprah said she was always scared that people said oh she's so full of herself and so on and now she kind of understands that there's a good there's that's a good thing to be full of yourself once you're full of yourself you're overflowing you have to have your cup full so whatever comes out more you can give to others and that's what I mean like art in that way has to be something that is not up, up for debate so if you're in a situation and you feel like oh you know I could be so much stronger and, and, and do so much more but that would make people uncomfortable and that's the reason why you don't do it um, understand that maybe you can create like like new rules for your life and have art through that um, our art is mainly emotional based. It's not always like this. If you have like other personality types, sometimes it's more about creating a structure. Sometimes it's more about, you know, some having some kind of order. Um, and what I also read and which is also true and sometimes when we know those things, it helps us is that we are not afraid or um, we can use a given structure. Um, especially since we create FE um there's a lot of structure that can come through pop culture to through our current um society the way we we're um you know we're set up because on the one hand i always used to think well i'm not that superficial like why should i care about you know i don't know as i said just like kind of like things that that are going on in our society that we all kind of share um we all know, you know, um, I don't know, you know, the Miss Pageant, uh, Miss World Pageant, whatever, where, um, what's his name? You know, where they like messed up the names or first it was like Miss Thailand and Miss Venezuela. I don't know. I, I didn't watch it. But this is something which most people know. You can say, oh, okay, this is, you know, superficial stuff and so on. Or pop music is not, you know, it's not very artistic in that way. But those are things that kind of like hold us together as a society because everybody knows them. You know, when it's New Year's Eve, you know, worldwide, oh, we're talking about New Year's Eve. Especially now with um, social media and the internet, I see more and more how we're on completely different parts of the world but the globalization kind of brings us together because there's certain things we share and having an art form that kind of goes into that so you you're allowing yourself to do something that is also that could be popular you know you're not really doing something that is completely 
you know, keeping you away from that stuff because you think that's kind of bad. You think it's bad because that's a part you like if you think that's bad, that's and, and other people bad for like kind of liking those things and liking to talk about celebrities or all those kind of things. If you like generally have not that you're this interested, but you're actually thinking, oh, those people are completely stupid. There's no sense in this. Maybe that's a part you're not allowing yourself to feel. Because all those things, they have a positive intent with them as well. And which is to get, keep us together. To keep like this FE world together. To have like an overall understanding of this is how our culture right now is. This is what we're, we consider... Um, uh, you know popular or whatever it is and by putting our own understanding into it we kind of create something else we create something that is actually out of judgment we create something that is not um you know it's not cause it, since we since our art is supposed to be without um you know without compromise and without having the need for other people to react to it you kind of like just creating of I could do this I could do this I could go do this but I don't do it in real life because for me what's more important is that we have a harmonious um, atmosphere and I like I know I could if I was in a situation I know I could say these and these things or I could dominate that, that field and so on but for me it's more important that that, that um, you know and that situation that we create a harmonious atmosphere where we're all like part of a group but that doesn't mean that all those things you've learned over the time which you have um um you know are in your brain and stuff you need to find an outlet to let it out and to let people know that this is what you know and this is how you see life and this is what um how powerful you feel or how whatever it is and this is why art is so important um and I said, there's so many ways you can do that. You can create, you can create videos. You can create, you know, just the way you dress. Um, or if you have like specific topics that are important to you, um, and you express them. Like I used to feel like I have on my Facebook page, for example, I post music all the time. I mean, I post probably like four times a day songs and I catch myself how I think, God, this is so, it's probably annoying to so many people, but the truth is, at that point, I'm at home, I'm just thinking of that song, that song gives me a positive um, outlet, uh, and I, this is part of me. And I've come to a point where I realized, people don't have to listen to this, they don't even have to like it. But if you want to have some kind of part of my life, you have to accept this, because this is a part that is out of compromise, and which is my expression, my emotionally based expression, which I allow myself in order not to have like an emotional suicide. You can't keep all those emotions, all those thoughts, all those conclusions in yourself. And if you can't find a way to do it in your day-to-day -day life, you know, there's some parts that you can incorporate as in, you know, I said boundaries here and there, but normally you want, you know, you want a dialogue. You want also for people to express themselves and you don't want to dominate and just say, this is mine, this is mine. I don't care what you're talking about. But you can have a field where you don't even, like, you just want people to accept it. And once they accept it, you will accept them for what they like. Just let them, let them be you. And since I started doing this, like, kind of really expressing myself in all those ways, which for a very long time I thought was childish, I didn't see any reason in it. I said, like, what is the, what is the point of this? Is my life getting better? Like, is other people's lives getting better? Like, who who would care for me to do this? You care. There's a part of you that needs to be expressed, especially as introverts. This is so important that you find an outlet and that you like that you let it let people know. That you let people know because we're always striving for our truest expression of ourselves. And through art, through whatever it is, you can do that. And you have it in you. This is just like a way of this is how I see the world. And I'm going to show you how I see the world. You don't have to listen. Like I don't think anybody really listens to my songs. But it just gives me the opportunity to be myself. To live my truth. And this is all I'm asking for. 
And this is what you should be asking of others as well. If people don't let you be yourself in that way, in a way which is not even in communication or something, if they don't let you kind of like just be who you are because they want to project stuff onto you and your art shows them that they can't do it because that's a very big part of why we don't let um why we don't do certain things you know whatever it is it could be art it could be just like a project you take on everything you do that you feel like oh if i'm gonna do this then uh you know people can think they're more powerful than me and that will make them uncomfortable yeah let them be uncomfortable they'll get over it or they leave you know, that's a part you need. You need a part of yourself where you can express yourself. You put everything out there you, just so you ha get into a flow. So you can have your cup full and you can give more to others. You know, this is, um, this is essential and I'm never gonna, like, I hope I'll never back down from this. I hope I really stick it through. I'm pretty sure I'll have situations where I won't. But, like, I've come to a rational realization that I need this. Like, I need this and there's nothing wrong with it. You have to understand that for you, your life is so, you know, it's it's everywhere. And it's going to affect everybody. But people don't have to be affected by it. They can just leave. No, but you're not forcing anybody to stay and listen to your stuff. But you got to put it out there. You should put it out there and maybe kind of like just accept me for this. You know, so um, keep that in mind. That's why I think um, art in that way is very, um, very important. Yeah, I think this is it on, on art. This is gonna, there was a uh, yeah, short part. And yeah, as I said, art is just a question of how you interpret it. I interpret art as something that is not up for the bait. You know, a part where you allow yourself to be the best version of yourself and this is more important to you than having a dialogue in that area where just something where you just say this is mine this is how i'm going to express myself this is how i view life and actually when you're happy and when your your art is going to be happy as well you have you will have moments where you kind of like have negative stuff um and and you want to do this but generally if you're able to express yourself uh you come to a point where you're happy and when you're happy and content and you want to grow, then all those emotional uh, things you put out there, they also would have a positive impact on others. Mainly because you don't allow them to project on you, because you show them, listen, I'm living my truth. And you're being a good example for other people to live their truth. Maybe completely different than yours, but you still allow them to view themselves through you because you're living your truth. So uh, yeah, this is it and uh, talk to you soon.